Hi friends, it's Gwen. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here to share another mini poetry haul with you. Um, as you know, I've been really um, getting a lot of poetry lately and I've been so inspired to like look into poetry more and have recommendations for you guys and read poetry and shop for poetry. On Friday, I met one of my sorority sisters for coffee in Virginia Beach and they have a larger Barnes & Noble there. So I went and they had um, a couple of different titles. Um, some um, that I had on my wish list because after I asked for recommendations I went and I searched for recommendations and um, yeah so let's just go ahead and jump into the um, haul so the first one I got is please find this I wrote this for you and only you and this is the one that I was talking about in my first poetry haul that it's by the same author but it has the lighter gray cover or the softer gray cover I think I kept calling it and just like the other one it is um, contemporary poetry with photography and I just think I'm gonna love these so much it is glossy pages inside so it does have that college textbook smell um, although I like the smell of the other one more anyway weirdness but yeah so I definitely wanted to add this one to my collection in my last haul I hauled um, said this shotgun to the head by Saul Williams and I picked up she by Saul Williams because I heard this was very good as well and I'm excited to have both of these in my collection now and then two poets that I was hearing a lot about is um, these guys right here, this is, um, a Dirty Pretty Things by Michael Faldet. Um, and this is the one that I specifically heard that I should check out. So I got that one. There was another one, but I figured since I heard about this one in particular, I would get this one and see if I liked it. And then I picked up this. It says wife, actually, a laying a leave. And, um, this is her love collection and this is her memories collection. I actually saw this one first and it was in hardcover and I was just like enamored by the um, the illustrations inside. I mean, oh my God. Um, and it doesn't have like a bunch, but it has like a few and oh my gosh, they are so pretty. And I read a couple of these while I was in the store and they're very short and I was like, yes, I have to get this. So hopefully I don't find love because I wasn't trying to break the bank or anything. But then I did find love and I was like, this is the one that I really wanted. So I couldn't decide. So I got both. So I have love by her and I have memories by her. And these are actually pretty pi pricey because I did pay full price for all of these. So I probably will not be doing another um, poetry haul until I have read all of this poetry. Um, I do have a few others on my Amazon wish list that I'm like keeping my eye out for. Um, but yeah, but all of these came off my wish list other than memories. So I did really good with like sticking with ones that I really wanted to add to my collection. And I'm just really excited so those are the books that I have right now all of these are kind of contemporary poetry um, like I said this is contemporary poetry with photography um, this one I strictly picked up because of a recommendation video that I saw um, love I actually saw in Barnes & Noble when I was doing my first poetry haul um, but I just passed it over because the other ones were calling my name a little bit more but love and misadventure I just it just sounds so much fun um, and in this one, there's this little illustration in here. I just think they're so cute. So I think I'm really going to like that. And plus with like Valentine's Day and it being love. And then I just could not like pass this up. It was the only copy there. The little um, end paper had the have these bees. And there's a little um, bee up here on the spine. Um, but this was like 20 bucks, you guys. And her poetry is rather short. So, and it's only one-sided, so I hope I love it. But, oh, it does have a um, ribbon bookmark in it. There, I finally pulled it out because before, every time I had it, like, folded under, I was just thinking it was a remainder mark. But, anyway, um, so these are the new um, 
poetry books that I added these five so I have quite a collection going now. I will continue to do reviews individually of poetry books as I read and finish them, which ones were my favorite, um, which ones I didn't really like or etc. But I will also once I have read all of these poetry books, I will do my own recommendation video. So if that sounds like something that you're interested in, let me know in the comment section. Also, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. And you know, I'll see you in my next video as always, guys. Bye!